Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of Stoneblock. I want to really thank you all for all of the subscriptions. We're over 3.2 thousand now. It's insane. Like, thank you all for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, everything. Uh, thank you so much. It means the world to me to be to be getting this amount of success, I guess. Uh, we've gained, I think, I mean, I've gained around 2,000 subscribers in roughly two weeks-ish or so. It's insane. Um, or two to three weeks, probably. But like in a month or so. That's insane, really. So in the stream last time, that was Friday, uh, we did a little bit of uh, work on this. We added some chisel and bits half slabs over here and over here. And I have the material stoner factories over here right now. But I could shift all of the machines just one block over. And then we would have one machine here on the edge, and then one there, 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 and there. And I think it would look better other than having these floating machines. And then we can put possibly some blocks underneath on the top. I don't know. But it, they're floating machines anyway, because they have power uh, through the back with these spectre coils. They only use, I think, uh, not a lot of RF. But we even now have ores in the system. Ore. Uh, and especially iron ore is what we need. As you can see, I have this yaw hammer here <laughs> from Woot. Uh, and Woot is a really cool mod and it has changed since the last time I played it. Uh, you, n you have a book, a wood guide. I think it's just a book and a rotten flesh to make this. Uh, yeah, there you go. And you need to make this Stygian iron anvil. And for that, you need Stygian iron, which I believe you can get with Stygian iron ore. And you can do that. And after, uh, basically, this gets you one iron, one iron ingot. And I think I made a couple of stacks of that. But then you can make Stygian iron dust. So you can triple each ore into three dust with soul sand and netherrack and a mesh dye in the anvil. But how this works is. For example, we're going to need ender shards to program mobs. And ender shards are made with a shard die, which is made with nether quartz and a stygian iron plate. <clears throat> so we make the stygian iron plate first. And then we grab a quartz. And you take the quartz. You take the plate, you toss it on top. And then you hit it with the hammer. So I might want to make another hammer real fast. Oh, that's the build the factory for you. We need the hammer. So we can have one in the system and one on us. And then basically you hit it and you get a shard die. And then we take the shard die and an eye of ender and we toss it on top. Oh, is that gonna work? It is, okay. And we get three ender shards. Now I wanna try and program these to different mobs and we can, if we want to, we can get rid of this mob farm if we want to. I don't think it's necessary because we're getting still loot bags and all of the all of the mob drops and I don't think it's necessary and we can only have wood farms for things that we need, for example, like nether stars. So the way these ender shards work, as far as I've read in the, uh, in the book, you hit the mob to capture and then you have to kill a certain amount of mobs to fully program it. So what we're gonna try is I'm gonna grab some skulls, for example, three stacks. I don't know how many we're gonna have to kill and some soul sand which we also need to automate. And I'm gonna go uh, actually make as well some of these uh, wither proof. Uh, we can make either the reinforced obsidian, which is just obsidian and iron bars, or we could do uh, reinforced obsidian from ender IO. And I think there's, there's these blocks from uh, mystical agriculture. So let's just do this. We have a bit of iron bars probably. Just make a stack of these and that should be fine for what we need. So let me go set this up somewhere. I would want it. Hello, sir. Bye, sir. Um, not the deep dark. We can go into the mining dimension. That's going to be the easiest, I think. So over here, even though we have uh, ugly holes from other withers that we fought before, we're just going to put one of these down. And then we're gonna do two soul sand and then a three by three of these. And then a soul sand and one of those and we can break the soul sand here. And then what we can do is place the wither like this and a skulls like that. Like that. So the wither is gonna be stuck in the obsidian. I think it should be fine. Uh, we'll, we're gonna see once he explodes, but I think we should be good. 
yeah, he's stuck in there. Okay. So what we can then take is hit this. Hit it. Did I hit it? I'm hitting it. It says unprogrammed. Does it not work with the wither? People said it worked with the wither. So, not sure. Hit mob with shard to capture. Kill mobs to fully program. Is there another mob that I can try? Because the wither doesn't seem to be working. So let's just get rid of that so we stop the noises. Um, are there any passive mobs here? Is there villagers? Is are you villagers? There's villagers. Okay, we're going to try it with a villager. Just to see. If I hit you. Ah, captured mob. Okay. And then we need to kill one villager. And then it's programmed with a villager. Okay, so it apparently doesn't work with a wither. Then I would assume it doesn't work with the ender dragon as well. So that's rip on my plans for the wither killing. So we're going to have to do the same thing that we did in Foolcraft. Is build the withers and kill the withers with uh, like um, mob crushers or something like that. Or the draconic evolution mob grinder. But the mob crusher just does a better job I think. Um, so that's rip plans, but, um, the woot, cause we can do woot, well, about at woot, uh, we can do basically factories for different things. I would ha I might have to check how you, ha you, how you can program the wither. It could be something different, but it says capturing mobs to initialize the ender shard with a mob. You need to quietly approach your chosen mob and hit it with an ender shard. The tooltip for the shard will tell you that the mob has been captured. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, let me look it up and see if the wither is enabled. Okay, so it does work with the wither. It was just the problem that the wither was taking damage. You have to quietly approach the mob, meaning he must not be taking damage. So now it says that we have to kill one wither and we can just dodge his things and we killed it. And we have a wither fully programmed, nice. Now let me go and kill just a few withers just so we get some nether stars over here. And we can then, um, go do the same thing with the ender dragon. I just need nether stars for the ender crystals. I mean, I have two already here, but I'm gonna kill just a few because I think we also need nether stars in this anvil to make these shards and we need to make these casings. So we're gonna need quite a few nether stars, I think. So let me do that and I'll be back once I'm ready to do the same thing with the ender dragon. I'm here to the end, but I forgot to mention I made a Danknul MK6, I would assume that is, I think. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the better thing. It was suggested in the comments. I forgot that it is in the pack, or I actually didn't know at the time. This can store multiple, like uh, an entire two double chests of inventory space for different mobs when I was killing the Endermen for the ectoplasms. Uh, and also it's been mentioned that there's an ectoplasm sapling thingy, a specter sapling, which you just get by clicking an ectoplasm and that you can get with a crook at least one ectoplasm per tree. So you can eventually just uh, get a little bit more if not the same amount. But you can respawn the dragon with two, only two end crystals. You don't need four, one on each side. What you do is you take a water bucket and you break the end portal in this diagonal. So you break that block and then you go to the opposite diagonal I don't know if it has to be diagonal, but that's just the way uh, how I do it and it works. And then you place one end crystal here and one end crystal there and the dragon respawns. So you don't need to use four nether stars. So now what I'm gonna do is wait for the dragon to respawn. I'm gonna hit him and then I'm gonna kill him. And I, I assume I'm just gonna need one. If not, I can make more ender crystals with just this without leaving the end. So I need my EFLN thingies just to break the crystals. Even though I can probably, we can try if we can just kill the dragon with uh, just the sword and not having uh, any problems with that. But let's see if I, if, if, oh, I'm gonna might have to wait for him to come to the middle or to be really close. No, oh, he, he pushes me away. Yep, he's just pushing me away. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to go to the middle. I don't know if he even goes to the middle with the all of the end crystals. He might, uh, I don't know. So let me let me see if I can hit him. Okay, he's in the middle. Can I hit you? Yeah, it says Ender Dragon kills one. And we have it fully programmed, awesome. And we get two dragon eggs for some reason. Uh, I also need to turn on this, so I pick up the heart before the portal turns on, or before it falls into the portal even. And we can also break the dragon egg, even though we can just craft dragon eggs from the seeds that we have, but you know what? 
having an extra dragon egg doesn't hurt. And then take the end stone and fill it back in. Awesome. So now what I need to do is just a whole lot of crafting. I need tier one capstones, two, three, four capstones, and then bone casings, flesh casings, blaze casings, ender casings, nether casings. So what I have here, <laughs> I set up an open crate up top and it's hooked up to this ender chest. So if I toss something in here, it drops from the top and it drops on the anvil. So I don't have to really walk up top and drop it on. Uh, and we can also do a, just a mechanical user uh, over here. I mean, do we're, I'm gonna see if it works with multiple items or if I have to click each time. So let's try this. We need to make, with the mesh die, we can take iron ore, soul sand, and netherrack. So let's do soul sand, grab a stack of that, and iron, grab a stack of that, and netherrack. Let's grab a stack of that. So we need the mesh die here, and we can take that, that, and that. Uh, and that's gonna just slowly drop, but it's gonna drop nonetheless. Okay, so each time you click, you get one. So I would have to, no matching recipe? What? What, how, is, is it because, okay, we need also, hmm, uh, we need a collector, one of these guys, and an advanced item collector, and then a filter. I think I should have one extra, maybe not, filter. And we can just filter this and then grab a crate and put that, uh, let's say here with uh, this collector and that on. And we can then just, again, I added some speed upgrades. We can drop this, uh, grab a user, put this in here and say it's gonna right click, use item, use item, activate block with item. Okay, it works. Speed upgrades. I just have the four. But it's a bit faster and it does work. Nice, so we have a little bit of an automated system of making all of the things that we need. So let me just craft everything because it's basically just the same thing, I think. Uh, we need the factory bases, which you craft with these, which you need soul stone for, which you need soul dust, which is just crafting. So this room is the only place that I can put this. And how you place this is you make the intern, which builds the factory for you. And then you place the factory heart and you can just right click it and it'll place items from your inventory and finish the farm. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if and when it's done. I have the factory controller, which I don't know where it goes. So we have to check on that. Oh, it goes up here. And then do I just take my yaw hammer? Controller needs higher tier of factory. Okay, so it's no power cell, no importer, no exporter. I don't know how I can place all of those or where I can place all of those. So let me look at that. Okay, the farm is now assembled. All I needed to do was, I think it's 10 blocks beneath. You need to put a power cell, a factory importer, and a factory exporter. Because for the wither farm, for example, that is set up here. Hold up, uh, let me click on it with an empty hand. Uh, we need the ingredients is four soul sand and three wither skeleton skulls. So we need to export those out of the system. And for now, I think it just grabs them from, if we grab a crate, and do a crate over here, and then a crate over here. Oops, over there. It should import export. And if we give it some power by getting some, I have some capacitor banks, and then we're gonna grab some spectre coils. It says it needs, um, whatchamacallit, 620 RF a tick. So that is 128, 256, 512. And then just do that and all of those and all of that. And that should, it's not importing power. Why is you not getting power input? Oh, because it's, hmm, yeah. Because it's filling the internal inventory of this. <laughs> I'm like, why is it not getting power? But it is spawning, it says. It doesn't have any ingredients though, but it says it's spawning. And we can also change this guy back to normal. Whoops, I said normal. 
says it's spawning still. We'll see what happens when when it spawns one. Or if it Don't know. We'll see. Is it done? Okay, it's it said it's spawned. It didn't give me anything. Okay, because it's it's doing the cycle of spawning, but we need skulls. Let's do one, two, three. And soul sand. Whoop, so soul sand. Which we have a bunch now because we can craft it from the nether essence. So let's toss a stack of these and a stack of those. And can we then do this? That's my question. Ninety-nine, ninety-eight. Okay, did it now grab the skulls? It did grab three skulls and four soul sand. Oh, nope. And I need to do the the upgrade. This is without any upgrades. So it drops one nether star, one supremium, one wither soul, and some of the other things. There's oh, it says chance zero percent, and chance thirty-four, chance hundred, chance hundred. Okay. Um, what if I do? Let's say we do mass. Don't know where I can put the upgrades down. Uh, I have to look that up. Hold up. So I crafted just the tier three upgrades and we need each one of the tier of the upgrades for the upgrade to work, but you can only have four active upgrades anyway. So I think for the withers and the ender dragons, we might have the efficiency. So we need to craft the efficiency two and one and then possibly looting and mass and maybe rate. We don't really need the decapitate and XP upgrades, so I can toss those in the system. But um, this should have made a wither star. Yeah, it's making me withers. Okay, and it's making it with enough power. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go craft the upgrades, and we're gonna see how much it increases the power drain, and maybe we can set up some massive power bank with a lot of spectacles and see if we can get that working to make enough power. We'll see. So I added the tier three of all upgrades of the looting, the rate, the efficiency, and the mass because the we don't need, even though I made them, the XP and the decapitate. The XP, I would assume it, it would make either liquid XP or more solidified experience. But uh, this now spawns, I believe, since it says up top, tier four wither times four, it spawns four withers each time. And each time it spawns it, it uses up the amount of resources required for four withers. And it gets us four nether stars, which is really cool. So we now have infinite nether stars. And you, as you can see here, I think the power, I didn't check it, but I think it's fine. Yeah, it's not draining too, mu too much. And this is making plus 1000 something. This is making plus 1000 something. And this is making plus 1000 something. So it's overkill what I've gone here, but it's a lot of spectre quills. I just wanted to do this just because we can and because it's super simple and we don't really need to set up the rainbow generator just yet. The plan today still is to set up the rainbow generator because I want to have it working and see it running and all that. And it's going to be worth the effort, I think. But this makes all of the loot bags. So I think we can just take this ch storage crate and set it as the ender chest. Uh, of the green type, I think. And it should, I think, if we grab green, and you might hear some beeping in the background, that's the bread machine finishing making bread. Just breaking the fourth wall a little bit. But I don't know if you can hear it, I can. So we take that and take this, and now we can just toss in the loot bags and they should disappear, I think. Yeah, there we go. The nether stars are also going into the drawers. We have a stack of bricks here that we don't need over there. Uh, solidified XP should go into drawers. Yep, there it goes. All of these loot bags should go as well. And friender pearls we have in the drawers, so that should be fine. Yeah, because we're getting friender pearls from that. It's just slow to extract because some of them don't have the upgrades. And then infinity boosters it got automatically eaten, but they will get stored. Sulfur we have in a drawer, I think. Yeah, and there it goes. And nether stars as well. Supremium as well. The only thing that I, yeah, we don't have these withering souls. So we need to add those to the drawers real fast. Let's just go over to the mob farm. And I think I have still space over here for those. We can put them in there. And that should sort out all of the drops here for the wither at least. Uh, nice. 
And uh, let us just quickly grab all of these out and I'm gonna toss them in this storage crate um, like that. And we can test by making some of these uh, end crystals. You need four of these for one ender dragon. So let's grab just a bunch of glass panes. Just like that. And make four of these and see what the ender dragon drops. So for the ender dragon, we just need to take this off. It's gonna destroy the entire farm. This is the wither, this is the ender dragon, and we place it back and everything should reassemble. And we get dragon egg, we get dragon's breath. And it requires five point something thousand RF a tick, which we should be making. It's just very slow. And we can give you the ingredientes over here. Uh, I'm actually gonna just for the time being remove the center chest and place this or another empty storage crate just so we don't uh, immediately lose the items to see what we get. And maybe I can speed it up a little bit because it's, it's, it's really slow. But it, oh, it's spawning four dragons. It's gonna need uh, 12 ender crystals. Uh, so no, not 12, 16. I'm gonna need extra 12. There we go. Um, and we can speedy up. Empty hand, 75%. Does it work? It does work. Okay, it's 3% away. Is it gonna consume at the end? Okay, nice. Four dragon eggs, 32 dragon's breath, three dragon hearts. Why only three? You killed four dragons. Or is it a chance? It says it's 100%. I think I got jip. <laughs> but it works. We get draconium, dragon hearts, dragon's breath. So we can automate dragon's breath for the ender generator and we can just leave that running with a few ender crystals. I mean, now that I think about it, we would need two of these and I would need to do a whole more crafting to make more of these, but I think we can do that on stream possibly today, maybe, don't know yet. Um, but two of these, one makes nether stars, the nether stars get automatically converted into end crystals and we, let's say, keep a drawer with a downgrade for just a stack. And we keep a stack of end crystals in there. And the rest of the nether stars go into the storage. And we can make wither skeleton skulls either with the wither essence, with this, wither skeleton essence, or we can just change this guy for my sword. And we get uh, those, or we can just get, get a... Wither skeleton soul and make a wither skeleton spawner or a powered wither skeleton spawner or something or something of in that variety. And we can just have wither skeleton spawning spawning instead of skeletons. Also, we could just do witch water. That's another option. But that is gonna be for the future. So this has been Woot. It is really cool the way he changed it. I really like it more than the last time because now you at least for the ender dragon and the wither required the items because before you just made the controller and it, that was it you were done withers were spawning automatically for just a m insane amount of power but they were spawning automatically uh so now you at least need to still make a wither skeleton farm or some way of getting wither skeleton skulls and also soul sand so yeah that's really neat we need a bit of a room to put in these wood factories and I don't want to have them in this room specifically because I kind of designated this to be the future room for power, but it, co it could be in here, but the room isn't shaped that well and anything. So we sh we're just gonna dig out a room, I think. We're not gonna blow it up with TNT because we're close to our AE system if we go down here, which is kind of what I wanna do. And down here we have, uh, actually, is it back here? Yeah, back here we're kind of close to to this, so if we go down here and to the left, we should be coming over underneath that room and not cut into the room that's underneath here, basically, which is all of this. So we should be good on that. So I'm gonna just dig down here a bit and go over there, and then we're gonna dig a giant room and possibly move this factory inside, and I'll just have a think about how I want the room to look and how many of these factories do we want, because we could have one that kills wither skeletons, just so we get wither skeleton skulls for sure. So we don't have to either grow the essence and then get limited on, be limited on the essence. We can just spawn them that way. And the 
one for the what you call it the Ender Dragon and one for the Nether Stars, and then hook all three of them in unison so they work together and produce us dragon egg drops or dragon drops, wither drops, and wither skeleton drops. That I think sounds cool. So I dug down a little bit over here. We have a pathway going down, and I think we should be enough to clear the backside of this room because it's kind of small and we're probably not gonna have much anything behind here, at least not just yet. So I think we should be good unless I wanna go more to the right. Because I wanted to clear out, well, let's just do this. We're gonna try and clear this out. If, if it needs to happen, we can build it again. Uh, I don't wanna dig it by hand is what I wanted to say. And we're gonna use a builder from RF Tools and you make a shape card and I made these uh, clearing silk quarry. So the shape card is this and then you just surround it with uh, these. It's a, That makes it a clearing quarry and the silk quarry is another star in dimensional shards. And those we get from the loot bags anyway. So we are good on that and they're also craftable. If you would want to craft them, they require all of those materials. And what you do is you right click with this shape card onto the builder to select it. And then you go to the first corner and then you go to the last corner. So like that. And we can toss it in, give it some power, which I will do on the side. And I set the shape card. You can sneak right click it and, oh, that's not the shape card. Sneak right click it and you can select it to void anything. So this is gonna make stone, so it should void it automatically anyway. So if we do that, that only cleared the bottom. Oh, right. Um, hmm. I messed up. <laughs> so we wanted that corner and we can we can have it down one lower, but... Uh, oh, wait. Click the builder, click the corner, and I needed to click the top corner. There. Not the bottom one. Now it should, if we give it another redstone signal, clean out all of that. Yeah, and now we can go higher if we wanted to. So <clears throat> basically... This room, I think, is gonna be too small. I've been doing some measuring with the tape measure and the, uh, that's a ghost block. Where, there you are. Um, the the thingy-mabob, the wood farm, is 11 by 11 in size uh, on the base floor and it's how block, how many blocks tall? We can go probably on just this one. And it's seven blocks tall. So we need an 11 by 11 by seven space. And we need three times that, I think, because I'm just gonna make three tier fours. So I can break the other one and start placing it here. And we can do one over there, one over there, and one over there, and have like a neat little pathway system in the middle or something. And we can also have a nice room underneath to actually, we can have a stair, a pathway in the middle, and then we can have staircases going down to the underneath part where we have the importing and exporting of items and the creation of everything happening, basically. So let me make this a bit bigger and taller or possibly deeper. We could also go down and just make the room go down. That is also a possibility. I wanna see if I can go into that room over there. Okay, so that is, is it like right here on the corner? Yeah, okay, so we're right on the corner here. So if we go much higher, we're actually not gonna clip into it because it's gonna be one block away. But I think it's best if we go lower and more to that side. So I'm gonna tur turn this possibly to go down and then over to the this side maybe. We'll see. I moved the pathway a bit more to the right. I just filled the entire hole back there that we made. And I have this guy configured now to make us a bit of a bigger hole. And we can possibly see it being made over here. Yep, there it goes. I'm still getting like 200 frames even with that running. That's insane. Cause there's no, there's no entities. Well, there's mob spawns, but you know, there's not much. Oh, hold up. Uh, mega torch, please. I can just put one over here. Doesn't matter. I got the wither boss thing. Nice. And all of the loots. Just 47 gunpowder and trophies and cobwebs and everything. Okay. So this, I think, should suffice for what we want to do. So I am going to go and off camera craft the recipes that I need. And we're going to come back either next episode or in the stream today and build that. Actually, no. Let, let me just go craft everything. 
or actually no let's do this first let's go grab this other the this mob farm that is pr uh that is running here so it is currently off and we can just grab everything that we have here and i'll toss it uh i'll put it here just this that we have not the stone but that's the things and i put the draconium uh into the storage system and in, into one of the drawers so let's grab these three we're gonna come and grab the capacitor banks in a bit but let me just vein mine all of those and all of those and then grab all of these upgrades and all of the capstones uh, they might be just falling on the floor because they don't have inventory space that is fine we're gonna take the crate away that away that away and possibly the two conduits and I can just toss everything into here and then grab the rest of these capstones <clears throat> and the controller and I assume it's yeah it stays the same okay so now I need to go and measure out where the center is and then measure out how I want to these farms to look so let me do that so I have the first farm in place and I kind of just used sear bricks to measure out where the farms are going to be and I think this is going to look okay. If we just extend possibly the cave, we can just build it out and put the farm over there and over there and over there and then do some sort of a neat room around it. I have no idea what else, what I want to do here yet, but hopefully I get some ideas in the stream on what we want to do here and how to make it look. But um, this is going to be it for today. I am going to be crafting off the, the components for the farms off camera while the video is exporting. And we can then build them up on stream the other two and also get the controller for the weather skeletons and stuff like that. But yeah, with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the lovely support. If you want to support me further, I have a Patreon. It's in the description. You can support me there. We currently have a Patreon server with uh, the Nature's Beauty mod pack, but that is going to change in the future to a more techie mod pack and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.